Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Richard today, and today we're going to be trying out Comcast. I figured I'd give this a try because I'd heard some good reviews about it, and I figure if it can turn any TV smart, why not try it? So let's get into this thing. I've tried looking at it online and stuff, and I'm just going to rip the package apart because I'm just crazy like that. Oh, hey, look at that. You grab this flap, and you can rip all the way down the center. Ta-da! And there it is, the dongle. So you get one of these, again, it's just a USB on the edge of a disc, or not a USB, sorry, an HDMI. This is going to plug into your HDMI port on the back of your TV. Ooh, and it even comes with its own little power. It's nice and long, it looks like. I know some, I like the fact that this one comes with power. I've seen a couple of the other ones where they don't actually come with their own power, so they want you to get uh, your own charger going. Now, the problem with that is you don't know if you've got the proper amperage. So if you plug it into a 0 0.5 amp and it doesn't start up, you're going to be like, oh, it's broke. Because some people, you know, they aren't going to know the difference in amperage. You know, uh, which I've actually had happen a lot. So let me go and plug this into the back of our TV again. Just look for HDMI 1, 2, or 3. And what's cool about this is it'll turn any TV into a smart TV. Let's see how many amperage this is. If it even says. It says, sorry. I'm just going to read this because it's very small writing. 0 0.25 amps. So you know what that means? Technically, if you wanted to, yeah, it's like 0 0.25 amps. Oh, no. There you go. 5 volts, 1 amp. So, if I were you, unplug this from here, so you have that, plug that into the back of your TV, and try running this just, if you have a TV with a USB port, plug this into the USB port of your TV, and then this end is going to connect into your Comcast, which is right there. So, plug that into there, plug that into your, the USB port on your TV, and then plug that into your HDMI port, and you're ready to go. I'll show you when it's all set up here. Alright guys, so as you can see here, HDMI 2 to Comcast, plug the uh, mini H or mini USB to the same as charging other things right into there. After it plugs into there, I actually plugged into the cable box because it's a higher output power. If this isn't uh, enough, what you can always do is, of course, use the little adapter that it comes with. And after you've done this, I see this is glowing now. So... It's all hooked up. Now your TV looks like this, yay, when you switch it to that HDMI. So whatever you plug it in on the back, make sure it says that. And then now go download the uh, Chromecast app on your phone. It says you can go to that website, but you really don't need to. If you do go to that website, then go to what you're going to be using it for. So say your phone or your computer, whatever you're going to be doing or trying to get onto your smart TV. All right, guys, so the next thing you want to do is make sure that you can slide down. Sometimes the Samsungs, you have to double slide down. Go to your Wi-Fi. As you can see, I'm connected to it already, but go to Chromecast. There's mine. I've already connected. Ta-da. And then, uh, since you probably already downloaded the app, like I mentioned in the last step, click on Chromecast. Scanning for Chromecasts. And from here, we're going to set it up. Connecting to the Chromecast. It says it's awaiting instructions on the screen. On the TV screen, you can actually watch what it's doing. I see this code. Name your Chromecast. I'll just call it, since it's going to be in Jess's room, we'll call it Jess. Okay, done. Enable guest mode? No. I don't care about all that. Usage data crash reports to Google. That's up to you. Let's just say set name. And then for the internet, network ID. For us, it's just Cisco. And guess what? There's no password. It's just rebooting right now. And then it should be applying the update. And we'll see if our screen changes at all on the phone. If it does, that's sweet. Oh, now it's counting up again. And there we go, we have a different thing on the screen. Cast from app. So if we slide this down again and we click up there, 
see where it says cast screen if you don't have that I'm sure you can download cast screen but we'll just click that and we might have to open actually the Comcast says it's at 50% loaded right now so it might take a second so I'm gonna let the cast upload and then I'm gonna try this and I'll show you all right guys take a look we're recording and using Comcast that's kind of cool so from this point um yeah I've clicked cast view and it shows what's ever on the screen so the next thing you can do now is go and click on Netflix and then it'll cast it to the screen you can also click on Comcast and then click on the different apps um, you can also and should be able to send photos so give me one sec I'm gonna try and play with it and then I'll show you all right guys so as you can see that's on the screen there this is on there um, you can switch the pictures and stuff that it's showing just by clicking on this and it'll let you do all that fun stuff so first things first let's slide this down I just wanted to see if this one's got the cast option if it does not we can always go get it right now I do not see a cast option but what we'll do is go back one and we'll say get apps Take a look here. I'm just trying to see if we're cast screen and audio. There we go. Get cast screen and audio. There we go. Connecting. Boom. Guess what? Now we're double synced. So now you can watch what I'm doing on the phone up there, which is sweet. Now, let's see if I can do this. We're just going to go... And we're going to slide around. See, it's kind of cool. And then we'll go camera. We'll go here. And we'll show something different. Oh, look, it's a recipe. And if you turn your phone sideways, we'll see if it does it. it no, might... it's got to be on rotate. Uh, it's got to be on rotate. This one sec. Ah, she turns her rotation off. Da, da, da. If we want it to fill the screen, or even if it didn't have a rotation on, it does all that cool stuff. Yay. So, as you can see, it does that. And then if you have Netflix, you can shoot it. If you have video, you can shoot it onto your screen. And it's just going to mirror your screen through this options. So that way, if you got something on your screen, you can mirror it onto your TV. Um, and, of course, it's also got apps, which you can get which if you click on Chromecast, it says, would you like to get apps? And then you can download some like YouTube. So that way you can cast YouTube, Spotify, ooh, Bleach. Bleach is a good series. Uh, let's go to what's on. Let's click YouTube just for a second, just cause let's face it, you're searching YouTube right now. Oh look, side to side. Um, I don't know if it's gonna leave, no, because it's not gonna do that. But yeah, now you can click something on YouTube, and guess what? It's going to go up there. So let's click on something, and then we'll pause it, and then we'll tell it to cast with that button. Connect to Jess. Yes. Screen mirroring. And it should send it. Oh, look. It's just casting the YouTube app, and then it's going to send the video. So before it plays this YouTube video, and I get a copyright notice, I'm going to pause this. All right, guys, so now that everything's done, all I've done is I've uh, got cast screen there. You can click that, and then you'll say your thing there. Once you've clicked that, now I'm going to switch you over to the other view. Give me one sec. So as you can see, it's right here, and I've paused it using the app, and I can press play, and it'll start playing, and then I can, of course, pause it, and it'll pause. So you can do that. You can even send songs. You can send anything you want. And again, anything you can open up on your phone, you can also use with the Chromecast. So again, this is like a really sweet option for turning your TV smart. So if you have a smartphone, this way you can send it to your TV while sitting on the couch. And you can also have Netflix on a non-smart TV. 
and a couple other things. Now, I don't believe this has Kodi or anything, so if you are looking, you might want to get like an Android box or something, but if you're just trying to get Netflix, send photos and show them to friends and throw music on and throw music videos and everything else on your phone, this is a perfect option. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. Like the video if you did and subscribe for more.